Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna start writing the code in Java and I have already launched the Eclipse IDE in my system. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a project. So I'm gonna go to file and the new and then I'm gonna click on this Java project and we need to give a name and let's say hello world and then uh, click on next or click on that finish directly and now you guys can see here in this package explorer we have a project called hello world and if I expand that you guys can see we have a source folder and then we have the GRE system library so inside this uh, source folder we're gonna place our Java codes or you know the files that are gonna contain the Java codes so inside this source folder, we're going to have several class files, you know, which are going to contain the Java code. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a class inside this source folder. So I'm going to select that source folder and then I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to new and I'm going to select class. So here we need to give a name for our class and let's say hello. And also, you know, we can give a name for our package and, you know, it says using the default package is discouraged. So we're going to give a package name and let's say um, learning Java. So these packages are used in Java in order to prevent the naming conflicts and also uh, to control the access and etc, etc. So these packages can be defined as a grouping of related types you know the classes the interfaces enumerations you know which you're gonna learn in the upcoming tutorials which provide access protection and uh, namespace management so uh, just uh, remember that you know we're gonna use these packages and you know we're gonna place the classes the interfaces in between these packages and because of that you know we can easily manage the access level and also you know we can uh, group the related topic under one name and also in the real world scenarios you know we're going to use the descriptive package names but here you know we are simply creating uh, simple programs and that's why you know i just gonna simply give this name so then uh, i just gonna click on the finish and that's it now you guys can see the eclipse has created a package called learning java and inside that package we have hello.java so every file you know which contains a class definition in a java program should end with a dot java extension so the first thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know we're gonna add the line numbers here so that you know if you make any mistakes here in our program then we can easily locate that so what we can do is we can uh, right click here and uh, uh, we can go to show line numbers or you know you guys can go to windows then uh, preferences and then uh, editors then text editors and uh, uh, here you guys can see show line numbers just select that and click on ok so it's gonna show the line numbers so the first thing that you guys can see here you know the eclipse has already written some code in our hello.java so the first line is package learning java you know which is a package name which we have given while uh, you know creating this class so this package is going to contain uh, multiple class files you know the file similar to hello.java and then we have uh, i'm gonna remove all these things and we're gonna start from the beginning all right so after this package definition we need to write something called a class so as i told you before you know java is a completely object oriented programming language which means that you know in java we're gonna deal with the classes and objects i know you guys are beginners and if you guys don't know about these classes and objects don't worry you know we're gonna learn all these things in detail in the upcoming tutorials but just here remember that you know the java is a completely object oriented programming language and everything in java deals with you know the classes and objects so in our program first we need to create a class so first we're gonna write the keyword public you know which means that our class that we're gonna create is accessible from uh, other classes and then now we're gonna have the keyword class and then we need to write the class name which should be hello and also make sure that you are giving the class name same as the file name so here hello.java and the class name must be hello 
so then we're gonna have the, a pair of curly braces and these curly braces are used to define a region or a block in java so a region or block is nothing but a collection of some statements so here inside this block you know which belongs to this class hello you know we're gonna write the java statements the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a method so if you guys ask me you know what is a meta a meta is nothing but a name given to a group of actions that we're gonna do so here in our program now we're gonna create a meta all right the next thing is you know when you execute a java program there must be a point from where the execution should start so in java there is a method called main from that main method you know the course start execution or your java program starts execution so in every java program that you're gonna write you should have a main method except for the applets you know which are run in the web browsers and you know the web browsers are gonna use some uh, different techniques to start your program so in normal java applications you know other than applets we're gonna have a main method in your program from where the execution starts so first we need to write something called public you know the access specifier which means that our method can be accessed anywhere and then we're gonna have something called static you know which is a keyword and uh, and you know it means that we don't need to create an object from this class to run this method you know if you guys don't understand about this don't worry you know just copy the course that i'm gonna write here and uh, in the upcoming tutorials you're gonna learn all these things in detail and then we're gonna write something called void you know which means that our method is not gonna return any values again if you don't understand just copy it and then we're gonna write main and then we're gonna have a pair of parenthesis and between this parenthesis we're gonna write something called string and then a pair of uh, square brackets and then we can write a -A -G -S, or args so here this means that our main method is gonna take an array of string as the parameter so every method in java is capable of taking the parameters and uh, you know our main method is going to take the parameters which are of type string and it's going to be an array so this is a bit complicated but you know when you start writing more codes it's going to be clear and then we're going to have a pair of curly braces so here again uh, as i told you before you know these curly braces are gonna mark or represent a block of code so the statement that we're gonna write between these curly braces are gonna be the statements of this main method. So here inside this main method, you know, we're gonna write the statements that we're gonna execute. And since this is our very first tutorial, and that's why what we're gonna do is we're just gonna print out some text. So I'm gonna write system dot out dot print line and then a pair of uh, parentheses and then a semicolon and between these parentheses i'm gonna write hello world so here this statement is gonna print out hello world to the screen so here system is the predefined class you know which allows us to access the system and then out is the output stream you know which is connected with the console and this print line is a method you know just like this main method this print line is also a method you know which is gonna print whatever value that we're gonna pass to it to the console so here this statement is gonna print out hello world and also you know every statement in a java program is gonna be terminated with a semicolon here so if you don't add the semicolon you're gonna get the error so i'm just gonna save this i'm gonna go to file and save and then i'm gonna click on this run button and we're gonna get the output in the console so i'm just gonna try to bring it in all right now you guys can see here in this console we get hello world so if i change the text here and let's say learning lad and if I save this program and run it again, we're gonna get learning lad. Similarly, you know, if we change the text, we're gonna get the different text.
So this is about your first program in Java. I know it's going to be a bit difficult for the beginners to understand all these things, but you know, don't worry about it. Just try to grasp as many things that you can. And you know, when you start writing more code in Java, all these things are going to be clear and easy. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.